Whatever you do, you need to do this with your professional family photos. My name is Jen Martinem and I help people with all aspects of photography and videography. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to organize and store your photos so that you have them safe forever. We'll go over options for online storage as well as external hard drives so you can get them off of your computer and free up that storage. Any links mentioned in this video will be available in the description. So you did it. You got your family dressed up, you got them to their photo session on time and everyone cooperated, even your husband. Congratulations. Now you have a bunch of large digital files taking up space on your computer and making it run slowly. What are you gonna do? First things first, I want you to go ahead and download all of the images. Depending on the package that your photographer offers, they might have given you all the digital files or a certain number of digital files, but I want you to make sure that you have every single one of those photos downloaded onto your computer before we begin. Refer to the instructions that your photographer sent over as to how to go about doing this. After you've downloaded them, you're gonna have to find them which can be challenging depending on your computer, but they're likely in a folder on your computer labeled downloads. Now we're gonna organize your images into folders by event. Label each folder by starting out with the year, the month, and the date, and then a small description of what the folder contains or what the event was. Do not, I repeat, do not skip this step. Skipping it will result in messy, disorganized storage spaces similar to your 12 year old's closet. Hot tip, you can also do this with your phone photos. Make albums within your photos app and label them with the date and the event so that later when you're going back, it's easy to find, they're organized. You have more than one way to search for it. That way you'll always know where Jane's first birthday party photos live. Next, I'm gonna tell you all about my favorite places to back up online and via a hard drive. But before I do, go ahead and hit that like button if this has been helpful. And in the comments below, let me know which online platform you prefer to store your online photos. Now we're gonna take those folders that we made and we're going to back them up two times, not once, twice. Why do we do this? Because not all storage is fail-proof. Just because you have them backed up in, let's say, a Google Drive, it doesn't mean that that is a forever thing. If Google servers were to go down, your photos are gone. If you decide to delete that email address, your photos are gone. Same thing goes for external hard drives. They are not fail-proof. They have a lifespan and they will eventually give out. You don't wanna have all of your eggs in one basket, as they say. First, we'll talk about storing online. You're gonna take those organized, neat, lovely folders that we've just created, and you're going to choose your online platform and go ahead and upload each of the folders to your preferred online platform. Some examples of this are Google Drive, iCloud, and Dropbox. If you have a Gmail email account, you already have access to Google Drive and Google Photos. Now, Google gives you 15 gigabytes total for all things that you wanna store. And this includes photos, this includes any files that you upload to the drive and anything that gets shared with you. You get 15 gigabytes total. Now, if you're gonna start uploading a whole bunch of photos to that, it's going to go quickly. So they do offer some plans for you to upgrade storage, then you will have more than enough room to store your photos and your files and you just have to pay a small monthly fee. If you have Apple products like an iPhone or a Mac, you're probably already synced up to iCloud. iCloud gives you five gigabytes of storage with your account, and this has to back up your phone, it has to back up anything on that you want on your computer and your photos. It will go fast. And of course, Apple has an option for you to upgrade, again, for a small monthly fee. In order for the sync function to work, you need to make sure that your photos end up in iPhotos. To do so, navigate to the app, open it, and drop and drag your previously created folder into iPhotos. It likely will not save your folder, so you will need to select all of the images and recreate a album inside of iPhotos to keep everything matching. It's the easiest way to just hit a button that says sync, and it will automatically be uploading all of those photos for you to store and have, and then you can access them both on your phone and on your computer. Next, we'll talk about Dropbox. Dropbox is another platform kind of similar to Google Drive. They are going to give you two gigabytes with their basic plan. So two gigabytes of storage for free before they 
require you to upgrade to a monthly fee or a yearly fee for more storage. I can't tell you which one of these is the best. I personally use all of them because as a business owner, I use Dropbox for certain things. I use my Google Drive to store certain things and my iCloud to back up my phone and my computer. You need to make the decision that's best for you. So go ahead and look at pricing, look at options and choose the one that fits your needs best. Now that you have your photos backed up online, let's back them up a second time. Remember, nothing is foolproof, so we wanna make sure we have extra copies just in case. I recommend using an external hard drive. An external hard drive is just how it sounds. It's a little hard drive that plugs right into your computer and it's similar to the hard drive storage on your computer. Whereas you can just drag and drop the folders that we've created onto the hard drive and they will live on here forever or until it fails. <laughs> I have a couple of favorites. So my first favorite is this one. It is the Western Digital My Passport. I have so many of these and none of them have failed on me in the past. Doesn't mean they can't. However, this little guy for about two gigabytes, which is the size that I recommend to be able to store all photos for years to come, as well as any important files you might wanna store as well, is gonna run you about a hundred bucks. And you can probably store about five years worth of photos on here. So not bad. The second one that I recommend is the SanDisk Extreme Pro. This is a solid state drive, meaning that there are no moving parts in here. Therefore, it is less likely to fail should you drop it or should it not get treated the best, which leads me to my next point. These little guys are fragile. They are technology. Like I said, they will fail eventually, but you don't want to shorten their life by tossing it or dropping it or being mean to it. So put it in a safe place where your kids can't get to it and mess with it um, and somewhere where it's not going to like fall on the floor by any means. Be kind to your technology. Okay, so that's it. We have downloaded your files. We have organized them in a way that you'll be able to find them and you have backed them up twice. You are now free to delete them off of your computer and free up that precious computer storage space. One reason that we want to delete them off of our computers is that if you fill up the storage space on your computer, it will start to run slow. So that goes for any photo photos, any files, anything that's taking up a lot of room, you wanna offload that these are a great place to put it. If you want help organizing your phone photos into folders for easy organization, then you're gonna wanna watch this video. Before you go, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.